Jane investigates his chilling video of a gang shootout on Chicago's South Side back in 2021. It caught the attention of federal prosecutors because of an adjustment. One of the guns used in the crime that made it especially dangerous. Here's investigative reporter Ben Bradley. Watch as a group of six people make their way down a south side sidewalk. From a second angle, you see an SUV stop and a door flies open. That is when the bullets start to fly. The man in the black tracksuit pulls his own gun, as do others, and return fire. One guy who was hit and fell to the ground continued to shoot. Federal prosecutors charged 25 year old Willie Glenn, who was in the car. He's now been convicted and sentenced to nearly five years in federal prison. It's the latest entry on a rap sheet that includes previous arrests for being a felon in possession of a gun, a stolen car, and unlawful use of a weapon. The feds got involved because Glenn used a 40 caliber handgun equipped with a device known as a Glock switch. WGN Investigates has been reporting on the switches for years. They are small metal devices that turn ordinary handguns into machine guns. In 2019, we reported on the proliferation of the illegal switches on the city streets. And it changes the basically the entire nature of the gun. And a year later showed you a guy found with more than 100 conversion switches, along with guns and drugs, at a home in South Suburban Robbins. He allegedly told ATF agents he was in the business of selling the switches for 500 bucks apiece. He's now serving a 10-year sentence. People will continue to try to acquire these because for someone who's involved with like drive-by shootings, gang members, and things like that, it's uh, good for them. As for the 2021 Southside shootout, despite the spray of automatic gunfire, everyone survived. The guy who hit the ground, turns out he was shot on his backside. Federal convictions often come with stiffer sentences than crimes prosecuted by the state, which is why the feds have gotten involved in several of these cases. It's meant to send a message. Four other people involved in that 2021 shootout were arrested and charged locally with aggravated battery with a handgun. Ben Bradley, WGN Investigate.